Hey, latte lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. I've got our frothing expert, Todd, with us today. Hey, and guys. Todd, you're going to show us how to do a really nice latte on a prosumer level machine. Now, we've got, we'll have videos of doing lattes on all sorts of machines. And I've got my second camera here so we can get really, really up close. Yeah, boys with their toys. Yeah. And, well, I just want to show folks just, you know, the, the technique. Because that tip position in the milk makes all the difference in the quality of your froth, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Part of it is a lot of things, you know, amount of milk to coffee in the cup, all sorts of things. So we'll kind of go over all that. Okay. So we're using a prosumer level machine. Um, Tell us about it okay. here. This is a Brutus 4R, which means it has a rotary pump. It's a dual boiler PID machine, so you can set the brew temperature where you want it. Okay. And their value, this is an awesome value for this machine. It's, it, when you say 200 degrees there, it's pretty much spot on the brew temperature. You don't get any better for this, especially at this price. And we got some other videos on here mm -hmm. on why that's such a wonderful machine. So Yeah, I've been a big fan for a long time. And this is our original one that we got a long time ago, and it still works great. That was like the sample they sent us when we updated to the 4. Wow. So, so what we're doing here is we're going to... We're going to weigh our coffee. We're using a Chiato E6X dosing mm -hmm. grinder. Yep. I go for about 17 grams. What I've been practicing with this right now, this is at 18, so I'll just level this off and get a little more. One thing you want to be is consistent when you're making your espresso. Have the same amount of coffee every time and uh, the same tamp pressure every time. I try and get as even as I can. Level mm -hmm. and you. You now, is the tamping some. pressure you actually use, I mean, is it, you just want to use the same every time, or is it very important to always... You just want to be consistent. Pressure. The key just is consistency. Consistent. If you change parts of the puzzle up, it's going to be different. So you sure. just, when uh, put your milk in here, the nice thing to do is, is when you put the milk in your pitcher, look at where the spout comes in contact with the side of the pitcher, and you can judge how much milk you're using based on that. And you're using a 20 ounce pitcher here. A 20 ounce pitcher for this, yep. Okay. I could actually get by with a 12 if I wanted to. Okay. But this is actually an eight ounce cup. Lattes can be all different sizes. So let's uh, let this, now we can brew it steam at the same time, but let's let a little espresso come out here. Yeah. Before you start. Okay, let's okay. go. So now we'll talk us through like the... Uh, I like to have the tip near the surface. You hear a little hiss? Yeah. And a little, little, little hissing. You keep the milk rolling like that. Not too much of a hiss. You get big bubbles. And I like to go until I get the milk pitcher starts to feel warm. And you want to start with cold milk and a cold pitcher. Yep. Okay, it's starting to get warm here, so now I'll just bury the tip and just roll the milk in there. We like to get it to about 140 degrees is a good spot, give or take a little bit. A lot of times I go out for a latte and the milk is just way too hot and it's yeah. not nearly as sweet and nice as it could be. Of course, the beautiful thing, cafes are getting better and better all the time with this, you know? Which is nice. Okay. Okay. Of course, we'll wipe we'll that wipe. wand and... Yep. Yeah. So you notice it wasn't too much air. Mm-hmm. Not too hot. And you kind of want to get so it looks a little bit like latex paint. Okay. And our special, so start low, go up high, bring it down low again. Hold it at the end. Yeah. Get yourself a little design. Very nice. Um, so again, some of the key things for this are the milk ratio to coffee. That's very yeah. important. Some people say we need a bigger cup, you need a smaller cup. Just find what tastes good with the coffee that you have. That's but really we, the key element. But like kind of a typical ratio maybe to start with is like a five to one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, but you can yeah. always vary it to your taste. That's a great thing about, you know, making a latte at home yeah. with your own machine. You this can one here was you two ounces and an eight ounce cup was perfect for this coffee. But I've had some where it just doesn't taste right. They're darker roasts that may not taste very good. So you want a little bit bigger cup if you're gonna have two ounces, have a little more milk. Sure. Now, you use the dosing grinder here, a Chiato E6X, and, you know, uh, why, why maybe would some people want to okay. use a dosing grinder? That's, that's a good question. I'll kind of show you. Yeah. You know, a lot of it comes out of the personal preference that people have always done. They always sure. they have to go back to that. The other thing is, let's say you're having people over. You have guests. Yeah, it's full right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'll kind of show you. We'll, we'll tear this. Get this back to zero. Mm -hmm. And if you give one, two, three pulls, you can have right around 17 grams, give or take a little bit. Okay, we're 19, a little high. But, but, then, uh, but then you, you can, can easily this. wipe it right back off into there. Without wasting any coffee. Uh, yep, so that works pretty close. Now the next thing is, you don't necessarily have to waste a lot of coffee with a dosing grinder, because let's say this was empty, you could start the grinder, by yep. push the button there, and just start pulling the handle right away. Click, 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 and that'll stay empty. You waste very little, you can do that. 
And so we, we kind of like that. Yeah, a really nice feel to the uh, to the oh, yeah. lever action on that. The yeah. spring. Yeah, the lever action is actually a very good quality feel. Good for your hand holding. I'm doing it from underneath. Normally, it'd be on top, but you don't mm -hmm. see my hand. <laughs> so like that. And then you can adjust the dosage with this. You can turn that and it make it so each one of the pulls of the handle will give you a little bit more coffee. And I, I, always, I like this one because I've been in some where, man, you're really trying to work your fingers around some metal, obs metal obstructions there. Yeah, they're a little tricky, but yeah, this is a nice setup. really, really nice quality grinder. This is their newer design. All right. Uh, so that's the Chato E6. All right. All right. Well, Todd, look, thanks, thanks a lot for showing us how to do that, that latte. Uh, you Thank know, the you. art turned out really nice. Yeah, it's so uh, fast. <laughs> so we've got a whole series of these. So if you're not a subscriber to our channel, you know, you might want to subscribe because we're going to show you how to do lattes and cappuccinos on just about, you know, every sort of machine we have. So single boilers with auto frothers, single boilers yeah. with manual frothers. We're going to mess a lot of different machines, so even, it'll, be, it'll be fun. Even super autos. So yeah. um, thanks for watching, Todd. Thanks again. And guys, we'll see you back soon for more on everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.